Invasive exotic species can be more than just unwelcome guests. They can also be a source of food. Eating exotic species like the venomous lionfish might seem a bit extreme, but it also may just be the key to protecting the oceanic ecosystem. Here's a look. These cockroaches are welcome in my kitchen anytime, and I hope that other kitchens will open their doors to them also. I've been called a number of things from an exotic food chef, alternative food uh, designer. When we talk about alternative and exotic in America, it's something that is out of the normal diet for most people. It may not be exotic to a person coming from that country. Exotic species are species that are living where they are not native. Some of them live there kind of subtly at low population levels, and some of them explode and go crazy and take over. If they explode and go crazy, they're called invasive species. At the Safina Center, we're trying to get people to have a closer relationship with the natural world. We analyze how fish are caught or otherwise get to your plate. And that's how we work with the Explorers Club. The Explorers Club is a, is a very unusual organization. This group of individuals has left a mark to improve society through scientific exploration. Back to Shackleton's days and Perry's days. When Explorers came back and had the Explorers Club annual dinner, they came back to show others what they had found. We're dealing with the oceans this year. So the idea behind taking some invasives out, try a new food source, you'd be shocked, it's gonna be delicious. I can't think of a single fish that is a worse problem now than lionfish off the east coast of the United States. I see them here immediately. They have escaped from aquariums Whatever keeps them in check in their native range is missing, and they could easily eat two dozen fish in a meal. And because they're venomous, many fish would avoid attacking them. Our lionfish are gonna be a challenge for us. It's the spine, which is the venomous portion. We'll have needle stick proof gloves. We're going to give them enough temperature that it will neutralize the, the quill. The fillets that we use, if we need to, will be most likely broiled and then glazed with a light spice. Another one of our selections is in another invasive, uh, is an Asian carp. Asian carp are in some of our rivers in the Midwest, and they, again, that's another fish that is in plague proportions in the rivers, and they, uh, they occupy a lot of the water, they eat a lot of what's there, they outcompete native fish for food and for space. We've never tried this before. My goal is to do sashimi first, to get this myth that all carp is an earthy aftertaste type fish. This carp is absolutely high sashimi quality. I usually try to go with the two out of three concept. If I give you two items you're familiar with, I hope you'll trust me on the third. The whole idea of these dinners is to educate, to trigger your adventurous spirit. If we could educate people into trying other types of fish products, it would put less pressure on those fish that are in such dire straits now. Um, this is lionfish, which is lionfish. something I, I was seeing. I saw so a bit of this lionfish. It's not bad, actually. Lionfish is no? great. Have you tried one of these? One of the things about eating invasive species is that we're not used to eating them. That's probably the, like the main impediment. What else you got here? Oh what my else God. you got? Are you What's kidding? Got everything. Lion fishing, one of feral hogs, feral goat, woven insects are in one of those, Asian what? carp, uh, catfish, uh, python. We got them all.
I gotta go get some iguana. Yeah, let's do that. I think it will be a little bit of chicken, a little grassy. Very crunchy and squishy. I'm thinking it's hot. It's better than I expected. People have to get comfortable with the idea that that is good food to eat. Because we have so depleted so many of the fish populations of the world, and with seven billion people in climbing, our pressure is just increasing and increasing. So we're either going to completely demolish the ocean, or we're going to try to do some things a little bit better. How was it? 